schools, colleges, universities and many other places often ask you to provide your documents double line spaced. I've got a document here, I'm going to double line space it and explain what that actually means and how to do it properly. Hello there. So double line spacing, what that means is that between every single line of writing, there is one blank line, as though you were writing on every alternate line using lined paper, leaving one line gap in between each line of writing. I'll show you how to do this and then explain uh, what, it, uh, what, what the purpose of that is. So I've got a document here, uh, it's a single page of writing, and at the moment it is what we call single line spaced. So each line is on its own line, there's no gap between the lines apart from the natural slight gap that you can see there. What I'm going to do is highlight all this text, and then the quickest way of doing it is if you go to the Home tab at the top, and then find Paragraph, here it is here and just simply click on the little pop-out arrow at the bottom right corner. And down here on the right hand side you can see it says line spacing. Currently that says single and all we need to do is to click on that drop down uh, arrow and head down to double. And that's all there is to it. Once we've done that uh, we can now see that there is the equivalent of a line space. You can see I can put my uh, text cursor or my mouse pointer between each line of text. There's one gap, one row between each row of writing left blank. Now the reason that schools, colleges, universities, places like that often ask you to double line space the writing, quite apart from making it easier to read, um, means that it's easier to put corrections into the text. Either comments, notes, corrections, uh, any comments like that can get easily written on this without it being um, awkward um, and potentially confusing. I could write a little comment, if I print this off I can write a little comment underneath or circle a word and uh, draw an arrow and put a, a comment in the margin. Uh, so it makes it easier to comment, mark, uh, correct, that, that's really why they do it. Of course, it also doubles the uh, page count as well. So if you're looking to increase your document from a page to two pages and you don't want to have to concentrate on writing anything more, just double line space it. To put it back, of course, uh, you simply need to highlight this text. And then again, if we go to paragraph and click on the drop down uh, arrow there, we can simply change line spacing back from double to single. You'll see that there are other options here as well. One and a half lines is exactly what it sounds. It's halfway between being single line spaced and double line spaced. So that puts a little bit of a gap between each line, but it's not double line spaced. So let's just do this properly, put it back to single line spaced. There we are. Now there are other ways of doing it. You can double line space your text um, in a couple of different ways. Uh, for example, in this paragraph section here, uh, you'll see that as well as having this little drop down arrow, you've got this icon here with what looks like a paragraph of writing and an arrow above and below it. <coughs> Excuse me. If we click on this button here, we get a drop down list of numbers. Now, 1 means single line spaced, 1.5 is the 1.5 line spaced that we saw just now, and two is double line spaced. So you can either go through that original menu I showed you, or click on this button here with a double arrow up and down, and simply go straight down to the number two. And you can see that by doing this we have an immediate um, change to our text, we can see what it's going to look like. So there we are, we can click on two, and we've double line spaced um, our text there. So there's a couple of different ways in which you can double line space your uh, work um, and why you'd want to do it. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you also found it useful, you could uh, click like or even leave a comment. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments section below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you very much.